Hey guys, so I want to talk about an old high school project that I did in my senior year. And the purpose of this project was to write a letter that you would receive in a year. So ideally what you are you would want to write is something that's influential, inspiring, heartfelt, sentimental, meaningful. And in retrospect, when you get the letter, you would see where you're at in life, how much growth you've had, and see, see, see how much you've changed. And I did nothing like that. And I had the letter right here. I'm going to turn it around in 3, 2, 1. And I got this back. So I went to edgy route and try to be cool. And, see. and I think what I was thinking when I was writing this was that I, this is so stupid. This project's stupid. And when I get this letter in the future, I would just probably, probably toss it in the trash can. That, that's what I was thinking. But now that I got this letter, this is what I read. So I'm going to read it out loud. It says, Dear Henry Fang, I have nothing to say to you. And then down here, after reading all this blank space, all this effort that I did, I get down here and it says, From Henry Fang, I wrote this to myself. Without thinking about the consequences. I, after I read this, I, I was definitely sad. I was definitely kind of sad reading this very disappointed in myself and I think I honestly think it's because the lack of accomplishments I made in that year I had after writing this letter but I'm a person who learns from mistakes and I'm gonna make the most out of 2019 now so I can redeem myself after writing this pathetic piece of letter crap I don't know what it is what I'm gonna call this so I'm gonna redeem myself and the sad thing is 2019 is already halfway done it's june right now so i have to pack in a lot of stuff in these upcoming six months oh i can't just be henry fang computer science nerd i want to be henry fang i don't know yeah yes Yes, and that's it. I'm not gonna dab. No way.